Hey everyone, Michael here. I'm going to be doing a series on Langchain. So in this video, I'm gonna be starting with unstructured file loaders and data loaders and kind of just going over the whole workflow of how you would want to use data loaders. And if you're unfamiliar with Langchain, you should check out the documentation, but at a high level, it's just an open source framework that lets you work with large language models in more complex ways because it abstracts away some of the nitty gritty and makes it easier on the developer side and I'm using Jupyter Notebook to do this uh, tutorial and overview just because it's easier for the viewers, I feel like, to see see it all in that format instead of in a, in a terminal. And let's just jump into it. So for this, I am going to be loading a text file from this substack. So I just scraped the text from the substack. Shout out Rex Woodbury. It's a great substack. Yeah, I should check it out. I haven't even, even read this document uh, or uh, Substack, so it's actually going to be a good exercise because in this uh, video, we're going to be loading that data and then summarizing it and then also asking it a question. So this is like very cool. Like you can now talk with data, get the information you want. It's more accessible. You don't have to read the whole thing. And yeah, I just think that this is just the tip of the iceberg. Honestly, there's so much more you can do, but I just wanted to show people where you can get started and get familiar with the framework. So to start, we're going to load what we need from, import what we need from Langchain. And then I'm also pip installing OpenAI and TikToken. I'm only doing this because I'm paranoid and I was getting errors. Pretty sure some of these packages are already installed. I'm just doing it for sanity's sake. You don't need to do that. Um, and now to load the documents, uh, you do need to have the file path uh, for the unstructured file loader. So. I, that's what I did. I scraped the text from this substack and then put it in a file uh, next to this one. Now, this is a very common pattern. Like I said before, you're going to see the doc loader be instantiated and then you're just going to load the documents. So when we run this, I'm just going to give a quick summary of what doc of the documents so we can see what we were working with. We have one document and it's about 2,968 words. So this could be an issue that we're going to run into. Yeah, so now we are going to import our large language model and my large language model of choice is, of course, OpenAI. So I think that's pretty much the only one that there is. As far as I know, I haven't really looked at anything else, but you will need an OpenAI API key for this. If you don't know where to find that, you find it at platform.openai.com. If you don't have an account, make an account and then you can make API keys in the account portal. I will be dropping links to everything I talk about in the description. So if you're like, oh my God, I can't remember the URL. Don't take a screenshot. I, it'll be in the description. Don't worry. Now I'm going to just paste in my uh, OpenAI API key once I've loaded it. Okay. Now that we have our OpenAI API key in there, we're going to get our LLM by instantiating it. You do need an, like I said, you need an OpenAI API key. So get the LLM. I am also printing the doc uh, from above just to kind of show you what it looks like again. I just really want to hammer this home. This is what a document looks like. You have the page content and the metadata. Uh, it's a very standard structure for all of the data that you load to be in a uniform way. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be summarizing this document. So a couple things. Load summarize chain. We are passing in the large language model that we have here. There's a chain type and then verbose is set to true so you guys can see the output and see all of the under the hood stuff. Now, if I change this chain type to stuff, this is essentially saying, we're going to take this entire document and we're gonna just shove it in to one open AI completion. Now the problem with that is there's a token limit with open AI. So you, it's roughly about like 4,096 tokens, I think that might be exact. Um, and so if the documents that we pass in in one call are greater than that token limit, then we're going to get an error. So I'm just going to see what happens when I run it with stuff. <clears throat> and we will just add in, I'll show you really quick, chain.run docs or doc. Now this is going to give us an error right there. Too many tokens. Maximum content length is 4,097. 
tokens requested 4,778. So, oh no, what do we do? <clears throat> well, I'm gonna tell you. So first we're gonna cut this and we're gonna change this back to MapReduce. And we're gonna run this again just to load it with the MapReduce chain type. Now what that's telling this chain is that we're going to be passing in chunks of documents and it's going to sequentially just make calls to OpenAI and summarize each chunk. So I am going to get the chunks by using Langchain. Langchain's text splitter, I'm using the recursive character text splitter. I'm not going to be talking too much about the text splitters. There's different types. This is just the one that I chose because it's the one that I've kind of defaulted to. Um, if anybody watching is more familiar with the text splitters and thinks that there's a better one, let me know. Uh, then we instantiate the text splitter by making an instance of the recursive character text splitter. We pass in the chunk size, 400, overlap of zero. Uh, this again is just for tutorial purposes, so I'm not really too concerned with these variables right now. And then we get the chunks from the text splitter by saying text splitter dot split documents, and then we're passing the doc. So now we have our chunks. And now we have 61 documents. It's about 3,021 words, okay. And now we're going to run that same chain with the map reduce chain type instead and with the chunks being passed. So if I run this, there's no error. And that is because we passed in chunks and we used the map reduce chain type. So make sure that you are yeah, make sure you're using the right chain type and make sure that your documents are not too long, folks. <clears throat> and yeah, so now there's the summary. This article discusses the history of the current trends of commerce and retail revolution from trading cows to the rise of influencer-driven curation, celebrity brands, yada, yada. And that does seem to be what it's talking about. It's the retail revolution. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take its word for it. Definitely, you know, double check, but I'm just gonna keep going on and we're gonna start with, we're gonna go on to the question and answer chain. Now, again, because we just saw that the uh, passing in the one document with the stuff chain type was exceeding the token limit, we're gonna stick with MapReduce for this and stick to the chunks. So we're going to call the load Q and Q and A chain function, pass in our LLM from before again we're going to pass in the chain type map reduce verbose to true. And we're going to just, I have the summary again, just for my own sanity, just to see that it's still there. And now we have the query. Why did Rihanna have the most effective Super Bowl commercial? And I'm asking that because that was in the preview right here. So I'm just asking, like, I'm curious. And now we're going to get the answer by calling chain and putting the input documents and the query. So we run this. And as you can see, it's it's chunking it up every time. <clears throat> and now we're going to get our answer right there. So I, I already ran this before I shot the video, so this was here before, but this is indeed the same thing. So we could ask it another question. I do just want to kind of find uh, something else to ask about. One challenge of online shopping is the unpresent dark patterns. Okay. Let's ask it, what are one of the challenges of online shopping? And let's see, do we have, there we go. One of the challenges of online shopping is aligning incentives for both the consumer and the brand and staying Top of mind for the consumer is a constant challenge. All right, there you have it. So that is Data Loaders Part 1 with Unstructured Files. So if you like this, please subscribe, uh, give it a like, share with your friends. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos about Langchain um, pretty frequently. I'm going to be exploring you know, different things I can be doing with it. I'm going to be sharing what I'm personally doing uh, with Langchain as I continue to build out my own projects with it. And yeah, uh, let me know if I missed anything. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Uh, there is no outro, so uh, goodbye.